Hi everyone, this is Peter from Roland. I'm super excited to talk about the TR-8S Rhythm Performer, our latest flagship drum machine. It has a lot of the DNA of our TRA drum machine, which we came out with a few years ago, but there's been a number of enhancements made to it that we've gotten from customers and artists and people that uh, have used the TR-8 and have loved it, but had some great ideas for what could be done to the next model. Let's take a look at the design of the TR-8S. It's been refined, it looks really modern and timeless. It looks great in the studio or on stage. Uh, it has a flatter profile so that it's great for playing live. So it has multicolored faders that you can customize. The IO section has been expanded so that you have eight analog outputs, SD card for sample import and backup file storage. There's the USB, standard MIDI IO, and a trigger output to control analog gear. And there's also a stereo external input for external signals. It has all of our circuit model drum machines built into it, such as the 808, 909, 707, 727, 606, and some custom made uh, circuit modeled sounds that you can only get on the TR-8S. It also comes with a bunch of pre-made samples, and then it also has a sample import, so you can import your own sounds onto the unit itself, which is super cool because it opens up a lot of kind of genre possibilities there. Uh, there's also built-in effects that can be different per channel that have been specially tuned for these sounds. So the amount of stuff that you can do with it is really outstanding. So that kit had a great mixture of different Roland drum machines like 909 and 606, but it also had some samples. So if I kind of cycle through these sounds, I can see I used 606 snare, uh, 707 closed hi-hats were also used, uh, 808 hand claps, like there's really a lot of great combinations that you can get with pretty much all of these instruments. There's also different synth samples that I had. And so when I sequence that, I can use the control knobs here to map it to different types of parameters per channel. And in this case, I used it to control a filter cutoff. And when you sequence that, uh, you can kind of get some great dramatic effects and you can even record it in the sequence, which we'll get into in a little bit. The great thing is I can save all of my knob settings and effect settings with a kit and I can have up to 128 kits, so it's really convenient for performance. So once you finish designing your kit, you can get into some of the more advanced sequencing features on the TR-8S, such as last step, which can be different per track, sub step, which will create ratcheting rhythms and faster types of beats. Uh, there's also extended variations that you can copy instantly without stopping your sequence. There's motion recording, which you can sequence either step or in real time. Uh, and there's a performance pad as well, which you can use to basically lay down any rhythm at any point in time. There's 128 patterns on the TR-8S and each pattern can have up to eight variations. And you can chain up to eight variations together to create longer phrases, or you can create kind of smaller groupings of them in any kind of combination. So one of the great new features is sub steps, which will let me create faster rhythms on a single step. Uh, it's adjustable and it's super easy to implement. I can just hold sub, hit however many steps I want, and then uh, play the pattern. The autofill in feature is something that has been borrowed from the TR-08 and the TR-808, and it lets you make two customized drum fills per pattern, uh, in addition to having the scatter effect. And you can also time it so that it comes in, say, once every two measures to once every 32 measures, and kind of any even number in between. There's also a manual trigger button so that you can do it 
pretty much whenever you want. And it also shuts off at the end of the phrase, so it's all kind of timed together. So let's take a listen to it. I'll play the pattern normally, and then I'll throw in the drum fills, and now uh, you'll be able to hear that. One of the most exciting features about the TR-8S is the motion recording. You're able to automate pretty much any knob on the panel into the sequence. Things like tuning, decay, uh, control changes, uh, almost anything can be automated. Even the master effects, turning things on and off, it all can be recorded onto the sequence. So let's take a look at the example that I have is basically a sub that you can tune up and down on the sequence either by step or in real time. I like to do melodic tuning by step because it's a little bit more convenient for me. So this is what I have right now. But I want to put another note at this step here. So I will press and hold and then use the control knob. And I can get a, no a new note that way. And then maybe I'll throw in something else. And in context, it sounds like this. So for real-time recording, I can use, say, the hi-hats as an example. Uh, it's super easy to do. I'll just press record under the motion section right here and uh, automate some of the controls. So things like decay are a lot of fun to do this with. So put in some more notes. So even just a simple example like that, it's easy to see how much animation that you can inject into your sequences on the tr s So another great thing that you can do now is establish last steps per instrument. So you can create polyrhythms and more interesting rhythmic phrases. Uh, and right now we have a pattern that has uh, the melody line, which is only six steps long. Uh, but if I go to some of the other instruments, I can see, you know, there's one percussion instrument that's 12 steps. Uh, it's also um, in triplets as well. So you can create a lot more interesting uh, rhythms with this. All of these features clearly make the TR-8S the best TR drum machine yet.